Legion, Freedom of Russia and Red Army of Ukraine, drove tanks to the Kursk and Belgorod regions. After the demilitarization of two oil depots, it became known that the Freedom of Russia Legion, Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion entered the Kursk and Belgorod regions of the Russian Federation as part of a joint operation. As reported by Russian opposition leader Ilya Ponomaryev, the border town of Lazova Rudka in the Belgorod region is completely under the control of the Liberation Forces. Representative of the main intelligence directorate of Ukraine, Andriy Yusov, in a commentary to Channel 24, commented on the entry of the Freedom of Russia Legion, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion into Russian territory. The Legion, Freedom of Russia, the Red Army of Ukraine and the Siberian Battalion on the territory of the Russian Federation act as independent units since they consist of citizens of the Russian Federation. They, after all, are at home, Yusov noted. He confirmed that a joint operation of these units is probably now taking place on the territory of the Russian Federation. Returning to the armed assault inside the Russian region of Belgorod earlier this week, and Major General Rupert Jones says that while there is still a degree of confusion about the incursion, it poses different challenges for Russia, Ukraine and Western allies. He told Sky News, from a Russian perspective, it points to an internal security problem. It's humiliating for them. It's an attack on their own soil. He adds that from a Western perspective, it will cause some concern over what degree Ukraine is supportive of that incursion. When we're giving weapons, we're concerned about those weapons being used into Russia, so there will be some diplomatic concerns. Russia says more than 70 attackers were killed in the Belgorod region and the remnants of their units were pushed back into Ukrainian territory after two days of fighting. Moscow has blamed Ukrainian militants, but Kiev portrayed the alleged incursion as an uprising by Russian partisans. Supporting that, the Russian Volunteer Corps and Freedom of Russia Legion, who back Ukraine in the war, have both said they were responsible. Thank you. 